Are you sure this isn't, it's not a joke? No, I'm, ma'am, I'm telling you, I, I'm scared for my own life. A chilling 911 call from the woman who helped lead police to the discovery of a young woman's body, a student at High Point University. It also led to the arrest of 24-year-old Michael Cadogan. WFMY News 2's Jenna Corzina talked to people who knew the victim. Everyone I spoke with say Gianna Delgado had an infectious smile and big heart. She was a young woman with so much potential who was taken way too soon. She was such a hardworking, diligent girl. She had a smile that would light up literally any room. 19 year old Gianna Delgado had just finished her freshman year at High Point University. She called Eastern North Carolina home and was working towards a law degree. We had all just seen Thursday at work who was looking forward to going on vacations and, you know, all the fun summer things. And just to have her taken away just like that, it's, we were dumbfounded. Madison Litton worked with Gianna and says she was always a positive person to be around. I know that she is down looking over all of us and just wants everybody to remember her as that beautiful bubbly girl. Gianna was found Monday in Tennessee after investigators say they believe her boyfriend killed her. 24 year old Michael Cadogan was arrested and charged in connection to her death in Tennessee. Police say they believe he was attempting to dispose of her body there. Anytime there's a death in the community, there's the loss of potential. This is a this was a young 19-year-old, uh, it was a young couple, a 19-year-old um, female and a 24-year-old male. Um, that has devastating impact, impact on the community. Um, plus, this was uh, has every indication of a domestic violence um, investigation and case. Gianna was well known at the Boys and Girls Home of North Carolina in Lake Waccamaw, a care facility for children who experience abuse or neglect. Ray Cockrell, the chief mission officer there, says Gianna made a major impact. We uh, have um, youth that come through here that, uh, that are just special people. They're all special, uh, but some just shine. Uh, Gio is one of those. Cockrell says they are working on planning a memorial for Gianna. Jenna, thank you. High Point police are investigating this as a possible case of domestic violence. Here are some warning signs if you or someone you know may be in an abusive relationship. The National Domestic Violence Hotline says some common signs include extreme jealousy, insulting, demeaning or shaming you, controlling finances without discussion, intimidating you or damaging your belongings. If you or someone you know may be in danger, you can call the hotline. The number is 1-800-799-SAFE.